Hello, Tracy here, and today I just want to do a message and see what Spirit wants us to know. It's about whatever. Just going to see what comes out. So I'm going to remember today that I'm going to post this on TikTok. If this is longer than 10 minutes, then you can watch this on YouTube. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and relax and allow spirit to guide me, direct me, and assist me. Let's see what message comes up. So we start off with man holding a coin and magician and a mirror. And then we also have caring connection and it came out with strength. At the bottom, we have anxiety. So this is somebody, maybe a older person, older man, somebody exhibiting male characteristics. Um, they're well off, you know, because um, you can see that they're older by the gray hair that they have. You know, they've accomplished a lot. And they're not hurting because they're in a silk shirt, silk and ruffled shirt. And there's lilac can be behind them, you know. Then we have Magician in the Mirror. This is like somebody that either he mirrors or mirrors him. Somebody that he cares about greatly. Somebody that he's concerned about. And, and really, in awe of because he did not know that this person was intelligent. He did not know that this person was like tapped in. And it's like creating something with this magician in the mirror, creating something that possibly got him tied up or in somehow some way has him needing to exhibit some strength in regards to this caring connection so let's see what spirit wants us to know about this man holding a coin Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for guidance. Thank you for protection and assistance. And please show me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to hear. Open up my third eye chakra and crown chakra. All my chakras. To understand it all. To receive it all. And to explain it all. Because you want it to be explained. Thank you. 
So yeah, this man holding a coin, like I said, um, he's, he's seen brighter days. He's seen darker days. But right now, it's like he's looking pretty serious. And whatever it is, it's... I see a little bit of a shadow. Which is strange because the sun is behind him. And so is his shadow. Or maybe that means that he's... He's dealt with his shadow side because I see it behind him. So we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Fool. And we have the Eight of Wands. So it's like he, he's dealt with that shadow side. And that's the truth. Because that Ace of Swords comes out. So, but he knows that he has to move forward. And something about some communication. He's got to do something with some, some communication. It's like maybe he has to go forward and speak the truth down. Maybe that's what it is. And we have the Page of Swords. It came out. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Temperance. So it's like, <clears throat> maybe at one point, he was studying something. Looking at something. Possibly researching something. But he's definitely working on something. And getting a healing from something that caused chaos between lovers. And this doesn't have to necessarily be lovers' lovers. It could be a relationship, or whatever type of relationship. But it's like he had to accept some truth. And now it's time for him to communicate that. Now it's time for him to move forward. Now it's time for him to strike out on his own. He, he's done his research. He understands what is now. He understands what is. And now it's like this person is has worked on self. And, and they're healed, or they're working on their healing. They're, they're possibly in the process of letting go of that, that five of wands, working on balance, balancing themselves. That's what it is. Working on balancing themselves after accepting the truth with the Ace of Swords and knowing that it's time for them to move forward. It's time for them to move on. And at the bottom we have the justice card. This is justice. It's time. We have the Prince of Pentacles. Once again, we have the Lovers. And we also have the Knight of Swords. So this is that person finally stepping forward, finally understanding that it's up to them to move forward with this communication, this apology, this explanation, whatever it is, for this for the sake of this the healing of this relationship. It's like, okay, you've had time to work on yourself. You've had time to think about this conflict. And now it's time for you to move forward and to talk about it.
Let's talk about this magician in the mirror. Okay, something flipped out already. The Ten of Swords. Apparently, this was something that didn't feel good. Wasn't right. Maybe this was something that you put out that came back to you. We have the Ace of Swords, I mean Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Magician. This is you, and at the bottom, look, it came out like this. The Three of Wands, and you see the Ten of Cups trying to peek out. Like this person is waiting waiting for their ships to come in or waiting for their, their ten of cups. Just waiting. But it's like this this magician in the mirror, somebody somebody experienced a ten of swords moment and they walked away. They started something completely new with the ace of wands, ace of cups. And the magician, <clears throat> it's a brand, I heard that song, it's a it's a whole new, it's a brand new world. Whatever the song is, I can't sing. It's a whole new world, it's a brand new world. That's the song that I'm hearing. That's the magician in the mirror. It's almost like once that person decided it was time for them to walk away, walk away from the pain, walk away from the misery, walk away from the anxiety, walk away from the what ifs, walk away from the not being sure not feeling secure walk away from all that bullshit it's like once that person walked away everything started this you can't make this shit up because then here's the ace of swords and second ace of swords and here's the queen of swords and at the bottom you got the sun so it's almost like this person decided that it was time for them to walk away and walk away to someone or something that's creative, something that's that's manifesting, something that, that is right, something that is just. And you got the Ace of Cups underneath the Justice card. And then you got the Strength underneath the Ace of Cups. So it's 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 in the walking away. It's in the separating from. It's it's in the accepting the truth. It is when we accept the truth. That's two ace of swords. When we accept the truth and we decide that it's time for us to walk away from the pain, to walk away from the misery, to walk away from the lies to walk away from the backstabbing, to walk away from all of that. And we decide that we create a whole new world for ourselves because we don't need anyone else to give us permission to live our life or to create a life for ourselves. We don't need permission from anyone for that. No one. But when we do that, look, we got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Magician. Look at that. Look at that. That's from walking away. That's from being spiritually led and guided. That's from listening to spirit and saying, oh, you said it's time to go? You said don't even... Don't even worry about packing no motherfucking bag. Bet. I'm leaving all this stuff right here. I'm leaving it right here. You know? Let's go ahead and clarify this caring connection first. And the caring connection is a 14, which breaks down to a 5. Which the angel of strength is a 50. And that breaks down to a 5. So it's like a change, a change in us, a change in our strength, a change in our caring and, and what's important, a change in us deciding and seeing 
what's and who is important. And like I said, it's time to move forward with that Ace of Cups. I mean, not the Ace of Cups, but the Knight of Cups. It's time to move forward with this caring connection. It's time, it's time for you to talk about it. It's time for you to be about it. You know, it's like, hey, whatever didn't work out in the past, didn't work out in the past. And you're never going to know if it's going to work out in the future if you are afraid to move forward. If you're afraid to take that step. Because I see someone who took a step and that was the best step that they could have ever took because they were extremely clear and honest with themselves. And they were extremely clear and honest in their communication with everyone else around them. Basically, with the Queen of Swords, her motto is, think it's a game. What else, Spirit, besides the Knight of Cups for that caring connection? What else do we need to know? Once again, the Ace of Swords. But the Ace of Swords came out with the Five of Pentacles. So it's like, hey, you know what the deal is. You know that if you don't move forward, if you don't talk about it, if you don't approach, a, a broach and approach the subject, if you just sit here and worry about it in stress and, you know, be up sleepless nights because you're afraid of saying something, because you're afraid of what the answer might be. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid of what the answer might be. Well, what if the answer is yes? But because you were so afraid, you didn't find out. Like I said, closed mouth, don't get fed. Closed mouth, don't get fed. Spirit saying, don't be afraid of your own shadow. This is right behind it. You're afraid to step out and and, and get something and grab something and gain something that you really want. What kind of sense does that make? You're not being a spiritual gangster. Spiritual gangsters aren't afraid. Mm -mm. Spiritual gangsters like the boogeyman. They like to look at the devil. They like to de stare the devil in the eye. They say, come here, devil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Either this is who you are or this is who you want. Either way, it's time to go after what you want. Okay? It's time to beat feet after what you want. You know? Nothing goes, nothing changes except for everyday life change. Go ahead. You got the magician. You got the four of swords. And you got the eight of cups. So it's time to manifest. You've done enough. You've done enough resting. You've done enough relaxing. You've done enough soul searching. You've done enough contemplating. You've done enough healing. And now it's time for you to Leave the old behind and go towards what you really want. Because Spirit says you are going to be victorious. Spirit says, you make the first move and I'll make the second move for you. You do one and I'll do two. So let's see what that angel of strength needs to tell us. And then we'll get some from this stack of cards. Okay. Angel of Strength. Five of Coins. You've been you've been out in the cold long enough. It's time to pull yourself up by the bootstraps, by the shorts, by the long hairs, by the short hairs, by whatever hairs. 
It's time to do it. It's time to say, hey, I can do this. This is going to work out for me. This is destined to work out for me. Oh, starting to get a little hot. Spirit says, make the call. Make the call. But you're afraid that you're going to be left out in the cold. You're afraid that this is not going to work. But you know, it's only going to work depending upon your heart, your true intentions. Because if you're approaching an empress, trust me, she's going to already know what your game plan is before you even come around the corner. So is this your intention? That happiness, the true happiness? Is that what it is? Is that what you're tired of being, feeling left out in the cold? From that, from the empress? Because remember, when you are around an empress, everything grows, everything flourishes. But the moment that you are no longer around the empress, everything dies. Spirit says, take a chance. Go forward. But when you go forward, go forward with the truth. I don't know if this is for a Virgo or is this someone that has had a moment to have some deep introspection, contemplation, thinking about themselves and maybe some actions that they've taken, maybe about their giving and their receiving, you know, maybe were they treating this person as someone that should have been treated like the empress or were they treating this person like an option? But now they want to move forward. Someone wants to move forward, but they still kind of feel stuck. Stuck because of their own making. Let's see what the stack says. So at the bottom, it just says spitting in the wind. So it was like something that happened previously that got us to this point. It's almost like instant karma. Spitting in the wind. So now you're driving on the highway. If you've ever done that. Let's see what else? Anything spirit? This okay. We'll see what it says in a minute. It's still upside down. Ooh, okay, that one to come out. I think that one to come out. Let's see. This one's to come out. That one's to come out. Anything else? Any one or two, not 22, please. That. All right, this says, oh, at the bottom it says, live the spirit of the 1970s flower child. Be carefree, be open. Just have that, that slowing, carefree, open, you know, I'm just so, I'm just carefree, I'm just open, not stressing, peace, love, and this is your life purpose, why do you live?
What is your life purpose? What are you here for? And is this the stuff that we needed to think about while we were healing, while we were researching and working on ourselves? These three. Your life purpose. Why do you live? What are you here for? We also have call on Archangel Mariel for that divine ultimate love. Because it's Archangel Mariel, that divine ultimate love. That's where we get the strength to move forward, to leave what no longer is working for us, no longer has worked for us, and possibly has never worked for us. You know, it says, leave negative people, situations, and places. It says, detox. Then it says, I own, these two came out. I only want sex, I'm a sleaze bag. You know, five minute frustration, ego issues. So maybe this is something that you need to leave. Someone that's not really there for you. Someone that really doesn't want the best for you. Something that you need to get away from. You know, then we have look at self, it says mirror, which is funny because we have the magician in the mirror as well. So maybe that magician in the mirror is we need to look at ourselves as we go through life to see what we bring to ourselves. And then it has the silent treatment. And maybe it's not so much as giving someone the silent treatment, it's just that maybe we need to be silent as we look at ourselves. We need to go within. We need to find, we need to be truthful about who we are so that not only can we work well with ourselves but we can work better with others so that we can actually have that that ten of cups because the ten of cups is not just because you have this big happy family with all these kids and these grandkids and this spouse the ten of cups can be you being single you working well uh, doing your own thing but but having friends knowing that uh, what type of person you are be having your mental, your spiritual, your financial, your physical, all of that together. But most of all, you're being honest with yourself because you've done your own internal work. You've visited your own dark night of the soul and you're not afraid to take chances. You're not afraid to move forward. You're not afraid to say, I can do that. I can do that. And do the damn thing. Anyway, this was the message. I might pop on and do another. Thanks. Oh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.